Welcome to Yummy Super. I'm Nemus, and today I'm going to show you really quickly how to install Reshade for Oblivion Remastered. This is a pretty simple one. All right, so the first thing we want to do is we want to go ahead and just go to our browser. And in here, we want to just go to this Nexus Mods link right here because we want to go and get a reshade preset off of nexus mods and i'm gonna go ahead and just use the novus reshade because it's a pretty this is a pretty common one that people seem to like and we're gonna go ahead and just go here and click on files we're gonna go to manual download now you'll need to log into your nexus account and if you don't have a nexus account you can go ahead and just create one it's free you can set one up really fast but once you have that set up and you're ready to go we can go ahead and just I'm go ahead and click on login here and once you're logged in and everything and you have your account set up you'll see this page here. And we wanna go ahead and just click on the slow download button. And here we are, this is what we need to do. We need to open this archive. So you can either open the archive here through the browser or it will be in your downloads folder. And we're just gonna go ahead and open this. You will need a archive tool to open it. Um, I use WinRIR. You can use 7-Zip whatever, whatever you want. I will put links to like WinRIR and 7-Zip and stuff down in the description. So if you don't have one of these, you can go ahead and just go get it. So once we open it up, this is what we see. There is just this one .ini file, and this is going to need to go in our Oblivion Remastered directory. Now, the easiest way to get to that is to go ahead and open our Steam and go to our Oblivion Remastered right here in Steam and go ahead and right click on that and go to Manage and go Browse Local Files. And here we are in our local files for Oblivion Remastered. And since this is an Unreal game, we need to get to the binaries so we're going to go ahead and double click on oblivion remastered double click on binaries and double click on win 62 and this is where we're going to put that .ini file so you can copy it or you can drag it so i'm going to go ahead and just drag this over and drop it in here like so and now you see that novels reshade is in our win64 directory for oblivion remastered now go ahead and leave this directory open because we want to come back here later and get this this address but we'll go ahead and just minimize that for now now we need to go back to our browser and we need to go and get the reshade at this url right here and as always i will have links to all of this stuff down in the description on here we want to go ahead and just click download and then down here at the bottom of the page again, we want to go ahead and click on the download reshade. And you can go ahead and run this exe and it will come up with the list of games. So down here in the search bar, we can go ahead and just type, start typing oblivion. And there it is. There's what we want. We want to make sure that we use the win64 shipping because this is an unreal game. This is the shipping exe. This is the one we want to use. This one won't work. So go ahead and click on this one like so, and go ahead and click next. And we do want the DirectX 10, 11, 12. So click next again. Now in here, what we want to do is we want to go ahead and click browse. You can see here that it opened directly into the correct folder, which is our Win64. But if it doesn't do this for you, and sometimes it does not do this, what you can do is you can go back to that directory we had open here and click up here on the address bar and Control A, Control C, get this entire address. And what you can do is you can just put it here, go back to your browse function here, and just Control V that and hit enter. And it will take you to this directory where you need to be. And we want to go ahead and just click on this Novus reshade and click open. Now it will have automatically gone through and selected all of the effects that we need for this particular reshade. So when we click next, it only installs the things that we need to install. It doesn't install any, any fluff or anything else. Once that's done, we can go ahead and just click finish and we are ready to go. So let's go ahead and click play on our Oblivion Remastered. And we know it's working because up here in the top left, we can see the reshade tutorial prompt. So it is working and we can go, go in the game real quick just to verify this. Okay, it is dark right now. But if you, once you're in the game, go ahead and click the home key. It'll come up and see if you want to go through the tutorial. It's okay, I don't need to. So I'm gonna go ahead and just skip the, this tutorial. And if we hit home again, it goes away. And reshade is now on. Now if you really wanna make sure it's working, go ahead and hit home again. And we can go in here, we can check things on and off. And you should be able to see the immediate difference that it makes having these things on or off for your game. So the HDR, you can see it get darker and brighter. And that's all you need to do to install reshade for Oblivion Remastered.